seen uh, we have seen how to use you know tag name okay so we have seen earlier example how to identify this link using this tag name so our next locator is what id name and class name so we'll see how to identify by using id name so if i'll go for this link same link so i can identify the same link using what using you know id because id is there for that link okay name is also there for link class name also is there for link okay so as of now we'll see again so tag name we have seen now we'll see next locator is what id name and class name so similarly so these are actually attributes id is equal to name id is equal to something name is equal to facebook class is equal to fb login so we'll try to use this time id instead of uh, you know tag name okay so id is what fb so i'll just copy it I'll just copy it. I'll just go. Same thing I have already identified, even though I'll just try identifying once again. So, so this I'll just comment it. So this I'll just comment it because this is just one of the way I have find this element by using what? Locator called tag name. So now I'll use ID. Okay, I'll just try to use ID. So again, ID will be inside by class only. So by dot ID and you have to pass a parameter as a string so id i have to pass so what is id if you see so id is what id is fb id is fb fb id is fb so now again i want to click on that link okay so that uh, uh, that link i have identified by using id fb and i want to perform something okay let me run this again it will work same like how it worked for you know tag name so these are the second locator which we are looking for so just let me run yes yeah, so it will click perfect so now we have seen how to you know use id okay how to use id perfect so now i'll just use same thing using what using name okay this is one of the way i, I have used id now i'll use name so what is the name we will see so what is the name so name is facebook name is facebook so i'll just copy already so i'll use again what by dot i can use name name and name i can pass as a string what is the name facebook so we have seen already again i want to click on that link right so first we have identified that link by using you know name name is what facebook so if you will see so name is what name is so name is facebook so i can identify this you know link by using either tag name either id either name so now this time i am trying with name okay same thing i have written i have i have identified this web element by using you know name whatever name it is given and then i am trying to click okay i'll just run it once again so it will work same how it is working for tag name and uh, you know id so these are different way to identify a web element and perform the action perfect so it worked right so i have identified by using you know name and it worked perfect in the same way you know i'll use you know i'll use you know class name because class name is also there so like that in web page whatever resources is available for you you can use it and you can automate the you know web page so now i'll use class name okay so here class name id name everything is there so i can use anything okay it's up to you so now class is also there i'll try with this class name class they have given what fb login right so i'll use the same so i'll just remove this name okay how is by dot class name i'll pass the class name as a string perfect so again i'm trying to click on that link right so this time how i have identified this link so these are the different way to identify this link again i'm telling right so here html tag i can identify this link by using tag by using id by using name by using class name we have seen earlier how to identify this by using tag name by using id by using name and this time we are seeing by using class name so same i have identified this i am holding this identification i know web element by using what web element reference link and then i'm trying to perform something okay let me run this this will also work same as how it worked for tag name id and name okay so perfect so it will click right so done so now you got to know you know how to use you know tag name id name and class name right 
so you got to know basic you know how i have to so here just i am trying to this line i just try to identify the web element then this web element i have identified successfully now i want to hold this identity with some reference so web element i can use okay the return type of find element will be web element so web element is an interface we have already seen so with web element reference i can hold this address hold this web element okay and then in this web element reference whatever i want to do with this web element i can do okay so i just wanted to click because it's a link so i just wanted to click so dot click so it will click okay so as of now we have seen i, I wanted i just wanted to perform you know click operation by using what i can identify this tag name id name class right so this four way i can identify and perform the same thing okay so sometimes this id will not be there so i can use name class will be not there i can use name if you know uh, name and class name is not there i can use id if id name class is not there i can use uh, tag name okay so these are the different approaches which you can go for if one resources is not available i can use another perfect cool but suppose if in a web if for a web element or a link so here multiple things are there html tag id name and class name so which one i should preferably used okay so if id name and class name will be there so preference will be given to always which one so id so let's summarize with summarize this with one example suppose you are uh, in a college okay so in college so many students will be there okay so all the student will be having some name and some classroom and some you know id is uh, in respect to id will just correlate with roll number okay so one person so this is the person this link is a person who is having some roll number name and class num class name right so suppose if i don't know anything about this person but i know okay he is in this class so if class is there i can go directly and catch him so again in that class i need to check okay how many classes are there so if similar class will be there again it will be difficult right so we should never uh, use you know class if multiple class will be there name so name multiple name might be there right so in one class might be multiple name will be there in real time also right we can't we don't know multiple name might be there but roll number if you will talk about roll number it will be always unique right unique to that particular web element so whenever we have three preference id name class name will always give preference first preference to you know id okay so first preference will be given to id and directly by using id we can able to identify that web element if id will be not there then we'll go for name again if id name both will not be there then we'll go for class name then you'll see different different locators then finally you will be able to summarize okay which one is better okay